A brief reading from Worlds Apart by Stephen B. Pearl, available through Amazon Books and from Dark Dragon Publishing. Chapter 1. Call thee the lords and ladies. Earth and air and fire and sea, round my circle let thee be. From the stars and from the earth, guard our circle's holy girth. Robed figures sang as they danced hand in hand within the stone circle, alternating man and woman, linked to form a ring. Three people stood within the ring of dancers beside a small fire. An altar occupied the eastern side of the ring. The handmaiden, a plump, blonde, twenty-something woman, held a black binder and a candle lantern so that the high priest and priestess could read the script for the ritual. Candles representing the god and goddess burned upon the altar, sheltered by hurricane shades. The elemental tools rested on the altar, the dagger for fire, the chalice for water, the censer for air, and the salt dish for earth. Each represented the forces of life and the nature of physical creation under the rulership of spirit. Alcina smiled as she danced about the circle. Her simple dark blue robe swished against her lean swimmer's body, while her shoulder-length chestnut hair tickled her neck. She felt the power rising, a joyous energy born from the love she shared with her coven mates and her gods. She knew the spell would work. It had to work. The alternative was too painful to contemplate. For more on Worlds Apart or the other works by Stephen B. Pearl, please visit www.stephenpearl.com. To purchase, please visit my Amazon link or the Dark Dragon site, both listed in the write-up associated with this video.